They had been a team. 46-year-old James Nichols, 45-year-old Luis Valenzuela. Hollywood narcotics officers working the streets in an unmarked vehicle, drawing women on the inside of the drug trade into the back seat of the car. Jane Doe victims say then the officers demanded sex. Every time I see a police car while driving, a panic comes over me. My heart starts to beat so fast like it's about to explode. Forcible rape to each of these charges. How do you plead? No contest. The reply from both defendants to sex crimes against four women, including forcible rape. The sentence 25 years in prison. One attack happened in a parking lot near Temple and Alvarado, but there were others carried out between 2008 and 2011. What made the women so vulnerable? They were confidential informants. Officers had information that could get them locked up. Where their future and whether or not they were incarcerated was a decision that was up to these officers. Still, jail was not the women's worst fear. If word should leak out to the drug dealers that the women were giving tips to the cops, it could cost the women their lives. And these were law enforcement officers. That riled the judge. This hurts. This hurts, he says. The officers were taken off duty four years ago. A lengthy investigation with victims who had reason to distrust law enforcement. Detective Carl Zuniga had this message for the defendants. How dare they? Um, they wore a badge to protect people and instead they terrorized them. On top of that 25 year sentence, the two were given 10 years parole and must register as sex offenders for the rest of their lives.